Hi Earth Signs, Virgo Taurus and Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. Today is the 16th of May and I'm in France, so keep in mind the different time zone. In this reading, we are going to get you some important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages for Virgo Taurus and Capricorn today. moon at the bottom of the deck here okay so there's one person here knight of cups could be a pisces cancer scorpio i feel like this person loves you but doesn't want to tell you that because the king of swords here isn't well first he or she may think that it's not such a good plan or strategy to let you know how much they feel for you or how much they love you we've got the queen of swords here in well first so We've got a king and a queen and both are in reverse. And plus the moon here may indicate, uh, for those of you, if you're not speaking with your person right now or very little communication or cold communication, I would say that the death card, this could be the reason why. Because maybe both of you are separated right now. But the death card may also indicate transformation, right? Five of pentacles in reverse. So there's this offer of transformation coming in for some of you. But the chariot is in reverse, so there's some a blockage. Could be due to external factors or internal factors. Could be due to work or money. Or due to communication issues, right? These Two are in reverse plus the moon here. Either communication issues or no communication or due to work. Could also be due to a third party situation. That's just for, uh, for some of you because we've also got the lovers here. But I feel like this reading is leaning towards someone possibly wanting to um, return. Okay, But they know that they need to make a choice. And the choice involves a huge change or a huge transformation and that transformation i feel like since it's so big um it's not going to happen too soon or it's not going to happen too easily but eventually with the page of wands here as the last card it feels like this person is going to speak with you um could be a fire sign as well aries sagittarius leo Gemini sign libra gemini aquarius okay so there's some news coming in from this guy or girl <laughs> doesn't matter he or she is not gender specific hmm and the lovers here indicate a choice so someone is going to make a choice due to um, a separation heartbreak or could be third party may not always mean a third party mm, but i just feel like this person is very heartbroken right ever since the separation between the two of you so they're gonna make a choice to move forward but or to take actions towards you send you a message but they are still kind of skeptical feeling kind of doubtful because the moon also can indicate doubts in uh, insecurities fear let's see more i'm sensing it's more like this person not you although roles can be reversed so just uh, just uh, bear that in mind okay the emperor here is in reverse and also we've got the empress in reverse so you've got two true match here but both are in reverse so it could either mean that you are also you're delaying talking to this person and maybe this person is also delaying talking to you <laughs> uh, because you know again the both king and a queen are in reverse so both refusing to speak or refusing to initiate the conversation or to initiate making these changes because the death card indicates again a very very big change right indicates a big choice that someone will have to make here but both are kind of like waiting for each other you and your person if there's somebody yeah if you're single i see the death card here also can be an indication of an ending of an era a chapter but there's still some stuck energy here with chariot in reverse, five pentacles in reverse because maybe still going through some healing and recovery with the three swords here. But not to worry though, I see the lovers here. If you do make a choice, 
to explore elsewhere or um, open up to possibilities, right? And not be so closed off. And if you're not staying at home and you're actually going out or you're socializing with the page of wands, feels like you will meet somebody. This person may be a fire sign, maybe Sagittarius Leo, looks like could be younger than you are. So we've got the Emperor here in reverse, Five Swords in reverse, and the Empress in reverse. There's this definitely <laughs> this energy of, you know, um, not wanting to control the situation right now. And the moon kind of feels like going with the flow a little bit. Let's go with the flow until somebody gains some clarity. You know, with the Knight of Swords here in reverse, gain some clarity in regards of what they want to do with this uh, situation, with this connection. We've got the Three of Wands here, somebody could be longing for you, thinking about you, wondering about the future in regards to you. So hmm. for those of you, if you are involved, with somebody who has somebody else, like a, another lover, third party situation, love triangle. I see that maybe your person is not making a choice yet or maybe could be keeping silent with the moon here because they're still waiting to see how things are going to pan out between them and the third party or just anything. Um... It may have something to do with external things as well. It's, I feel like it's not as simple because the moon here feels like it could be quite complicated. But let's see more. Nine of Pentacles, this is you. So for those of you single, independent, most earth signs are, you know, independent, self-sufficient. Um, or you may have saved a lot of money <laughs> with the Nine of Pentacles here. On your own because nine is almost ten right so you you either work really hard and save a lot of money or it could be you just being somebody really independent you're working um, another thing I'm getting here sometimes the nine of Pentacles can indicate uh, you may not be single you may be with somebody but uh, quietly you could be saving some money for the future I feel like for the rainy days I don't know if um, I'm Malaysian, right? So uh, in Malaysia, <laughs> there are girls or women who would, you know, um, be with somebody, get married, or even if they're married, they get some, they, they get allowances where they don't actually have to work. So they save some of these money for their future, just in case if the husband divorces them. Or <laughs> I think maybe some of you could be doing that, may have been doing that for a while. That's just for some of you, obviously, it's not for all of you. See, Four of Pentacles is like saving money, right? Some of you may have saved a lot of money. You've been keeping quiet how much money you have in your bank. And we've got the Ten of Wands here in reverse. Yeah, so that you don't have to work if things hit the fan. If the relationship doesn't work out, you can still, you can still um, uh, live your life. Yeah. But what I'm seeing here also is Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you've been a bit closed off and you've been just focusing on your career, your home front, and if you are very doubtful in regards of meeting your emperor here, that means somebody who is at your level as the empress here. This is, you know, looks like with the Knight of Cups, there is somebody and the page of wands here as well some of you it's someone from your past or someone you're not speaking with returning sending you a message sending you love perhaps again the both king and the queen here in reverse and it gives me both of you haven't been on the same page or could have been could have had uh, some arguments or maybe not just not speaking with each other right now so someone also i feel like Maybe it's your person or this person in particular that you may have thought that this person has given up. Maybe both of you have given up on this connection at one point. But um, I feel like deep down with the moon and Knight of Swords here in Reverse and Three of Wands, someone could just be planning, uh, strategizing here. You know, maybe this is not the right time to speak until the three of wands happens that means until the ship sails in until it's the right time then i feel like somebody is going to uh send a message page of wands or offer something here 
And when I say someone, that means could be you or your person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. Got the seven of swords here in my birth. So, hmm, most likely this person either has lied to you, cheated on you, or just being really selfish. Uh, they may have just looked out for themselves and not you. I'm sensing this person will will uh, reach out to you. You could have two completely different people too, uh, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Most likely they are your exes. Yep. Two exes that I'm seeing here from your past. They are thinking about you. Um, and I feel like one of them or both of them will reach out pretty soon. All right. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with my latest videos on the screen right now. They're from my second travel vlog channel. I'm so sorry that I'm so tired. <laughs> I went on this five hours walk around Paris with only 15 minutes in between uh, break. And I'm like so tired. My feet hurt so bad, but... Anyway, um, yeah, check out these videos if you want to. There's one video where I, uh, which one? Yeah, the latest one, the cooking one. <laughs> you guys want to see what I make for myself here in France. Um, but anyway, and also I'll leave you with a playlist on the screen if you guys would like to check out your other uh, videos, other readings. Um, and, you know, they're quite new three days ago perhaps because i think i've been missing for three days already but anyway also i am open for personal readings if you like to book me my information is in the description box below take care bye